Hi there, Adita Lang from AditaLang.com and today I'd like to show you some form and technique tips and tricks for all of you balance and stability cohorts of mine. It is about really learning how to utilize our posture to help us do everyday activities and to feel so much more stable on our feet at any age reality, okay? So the first thing I want to do is just show you how are you going to sit on a sofa? Do you just kind of, hmm, see what happens here is I start getting these muscles to contract because I'm pushing inward, my back muscles stretch, and this becomes normal. Yeah, feels really comfortable, doesn't it? But with time, what it does though is it throws your body off and then you sit like this. And when you're sitting like this, look what else is happening. Your belly just kind of pushes outward. So there's a couple of things I want you to think about. Number one, your abdominal muscles is pretty much the only muscle in your body that actually stretches when unattended to. So what do that, does that mean? That means that on a day-to-day -day basis, you always want to be contracting inward from your rib cage and the center of your abdominals, holding this part strong, because you know what that does? The muscles of your back are kind of like these loose little bones kind of stacked up on top of each other. And if, when the muscles of the abdominals are contracted and pulling in, it fortifies the spine and keeps it much stronger and straighter. So that is your first tip. You've got to keep the center strong. Now, anytime you exert effort, as in standing, okay, you need to pull in your abdominals. If you're going to pick up a box, you need to pull in your abdominals. I don't know where this came from, but whatever happened to a lot of us, as things became more difficult, we pushed out our abdominals, thinking we were helping ourselves or something. I don't know, maybe just feel, felt more comfortable. But unfortunately, that's putting us in a weaker position. So I want you to really think about any time you exert effort, you pull in your abdominals. Now, let's just take my sofa here. So I'm kind of short. I don't really fit in it. So for me, the best thing to do would be to put a big, see this is a big pillow. I put a pillow there so that I'm sitting naturally nice and straight without slouching and leaning into my sofa, okay? So that's really your goal, and you can put in two, so, two pillows, some of you, maybe you need a smaller pillow, it doesn't matter, but you wanna make sure that you're sitting up really, really straight. Now, every time you're about to get up off the sofa, what are you supposed to do? You're gonna have to scoot to the front edge, and we're gonna go over that in a few seconds here, but I just wanna get you to that the reality is we can sit comfortably in a chair, and this could be at the dining room table, this could be in the car, this could be at a friend's house. You always want to sit yourself up. And so here's the thing, you're at a friend's house, and let's say this was their sofa. Well, you're not going to sit there and slouch. What you got to do is you got to look around and say, oh, I see a pillow. Let me just borrow that pillow and place it back here. I do it all the time because I'm short. But anyways, so with that said, I want you always to prop yourself up. Now, the next part of your posture is always going to be your shoulders, okay? With time, with the telephone, with carrying a handbag or a bag or a gym bag, we tend to kind of like mangle our body. And we've got to think about sitting up. So when you sit up, your chest is elevated high. Your shoulders are back and down. It should feel as if your shoulder blades are pressed into your back pockets, okay? And that's where you're sitting up straight. Now, if you don't traditionally sit up like this and you're always sitting like this, this is going to feel really difficult and challenging. I get it. You got to do it. Sorry, it feels difficult, challenging. Muster through it. You can do this, okay? So shoulders are back and down, chest is up. Now, when your shoulders go up and down, your shoulders, I mean, your shoulders go back, your chest goes up and down, your head goes slightly back because the reality is, is that your ears should land right over your shoulders. They shouldn't be in front. And of course, they shouldn't be way back here either. So we want them right on top, and our chin kind of tucks down just slightly. So this stacks our body weight up nice and tall, just the way we want it. And ideally, if you were going to lean back, watch me, watch me, watch me. I'm leaning back my body as a whole, as opposed to this. Did you see the difference? Okay, so I'm sitting up really tall. My whole body leans back. Okay? And that's different than me just sinking into it. So I want you to think about that as well. Now, in all of my balance and stability classes, you will see that I really work a lot on making sure you grip your toes because that is so important. So this is what I want you to look for, okay? We're going to start off, this is kind of like a one pound dumbbell, if you think of it that way. Your first one pound dumbbell is going to be the tissue. And you're going to place that tissue 
on the floor yeah. like that. The foot goes on top of the tissue and your goal is to pick up the tissue, drop it, pick up the tissue, drop it, pick up the tissue, drop okay, it. Okay, so now step two, which would be like your two pound dumbbell. We're going to take that tissue away and we're going to move into a towel. It's a little heavier, it's a little thicker, so okay? Now you're going to pick up the towel, drop it. You can flatten it out, use your toes, pick up that towel, drop it. Flatten it out, use your toes, pick up the towel, and drop so it. So that's your next step. From there, I'll give you some more pointers once we've made these really part of our foundation for our toes. But you have to remember that with every exercise we do, your weight will be grounded in your heels, but your toes, watch my toes, they're going to grip down. Watch my toes. They go up, right? And you grip them into the floor so that when you do a movement, your toes have a, a great foundation with the rest now, of your foot. Now, let's talk about how we're going to stand up, okay? So, hopefully my head won't get cut off on the top of this video, but you know what I'm doing. So, what you're going to do, the first thing you do when you stand up is you scoot to the front edge of your chair. Now, if you do it correctly, when you scoot forward, your feet stay back behind you and they actually stay behind your knees, okay? Then you want to find a focal point up and above. So I'm looking up at where the ceiling and the wall meet. Remember, my shoulders are back and down, my chest is up, my abdominals are held in tight. I'm going to look up and I basically allow my upper body weight to come forward. I keep looking up and I push off my legs to stand up. Now, when I was standing up is when my toes were gripping in the most, okay? Now, I keep looking up when I'm going to sit down, and this time when I sit, though, I'm going to aim my hips way back behind me. Excellent. So I basically sat into the chair, right? But now when I stand up again, what do I do? I have to scoot to the front, always remember, and then look up, abdominals are in, chest is up, right? Shoulders are back and down, and I'm going to push off my feet to come up. Now, I want to show you one more thing. We're going to sit back down again, looking forward. Many times when our legs are just a little bit weaker, you know, not as strong, maybe not as strong in a well-rounded type manner, our knees will buckle. So I want you to think about that. So when you scoot forward, if you realize that you're coming up and your knees are buckling inward, I need you to aim them out. So think about it this way. Your knees are like headlights and they should be pointing straight ahead, okay? So here I am again, I'm sitting up nice and tall. I'm going to scoot to the front edge of my chair. Now I have to focus, I know it's a lot to focus on, but I am focusing on shoulders back and down, chest is up, abs are in tight. I've got my focal point in view. My knees are in front of my toes for this exercise, right? My toes are gripping into the floor and I'm pointing my knees like spotlights to avoid them buckling in. Now if they buckle in and out but I catch myself, that's okay because I'm going to work my way with practice to standing up straight. So always think, even on the way down, you got to think about those knees, they're pointing forward and you're sitting in, okay? So those are your tips and tricks to guess what? Every single movement you make. That means if you're doing exercises in a chair, if you're doing exercises standing up, if you're doing exercises lying down, it doesn't matter. These techniques are really, really important. There is one more thing, though, I want to share with you. When you're working out, which is why all of the Balance and Stability videos have no music. If you'd like to play music in the background, you are more than welcome to, but I don't want you to follow a beat. What I want you to do is to listen to your body and work with your body in a manner that you know you have the most control. Because here's the thing, is in progression, you're going to start to get stronger and maybe you're getting stronger but you're moving slower, that's okay because as you get stronger, you'll be able to pick up the pace but yet with perfect form and technique and that's going to make you feel more stable and more in control on your feet when you're walking down the street, going up a sidewalk or even going upstairs, okay? I hope that worked and I've got more videos to come so please make sure you're watching. Bye for now.